need a guide to find them all. So let's get started with your basic text. If you type the magic word, you'll notice it automatically brings up the emoji translation in the autocomplete bar, or pull up the translation once you're done by selecting the emoji icon. And now let's add some punch to it. Press and hold or 3D touch the arrow in your chat window to pull up a list of effects. Press it once to preview and press again to send. Or toggle on the screen tab to add an animated background to your chat screen if that still doesn't get the message across. You can do the same thing with photos as long as you load them in your chat bubble before you send. Or if your penmanship is on point, turn your phone on landscape mode and send a handwritten note by clicking on the curl on the lower right. Now click on the arrow next to your message bubble for a new set of options. Press on the photo icon and you'll notice it's changed a bit from the last version. Take a quick snap without leaving the app, slide right to access recent photos, or left to go to your library. Remember that digital touch option on the Apple Watch that let you send your heartbeat? That's what this icon does. Press on the hand icons on the right for a full list of effects, and then send a tap, kiss, or heartbeat to your boot. Press the circle to change colors or the camera icon to overlay on a photo. Moving on to the apps icon. Here's where you'll find all sorts of cool stickers and GIFs. Scroll down to see all the options from that particular set, or swipe right to see another collection. One more time to access images and GIFs using the search bar to find the most appropriate, and then one more time to share the song you're listening to. And we're just getting started. Click on the four dots on the bottom. Apple's latest upgrade to iOS is packed with useful features that will give your iPhone or iPad a much needed refresh. But if you're still not sure whether to take the plunge, Here's a look at some of our favorites and how to find them. Raise to wake. The first thing you'll notice when you pick up your phone is that the lock screen turns on without your even touching the home button. The new Raise to wake feature uses the M9 CO processor on the iPhone SIXS and SIXS Plus to detect motion so you can check the time and notifications on the fly. To turn off the feature, go to the Display and Brightness option in the Settings page and click on the Raise to wake switch. Quick Camera Launch Launching the camera app from your lock screen is even faster in iOS 10. Just swipe left from the main page to capture that candid shot. Sort photos by faces and places. The photo app in iOS 10 automatically sorts through your endless reel and organizes your shots based on places and people in the albums tab. Or you can really narrow down your search by date, place, or person using the search feature at the top of this page. To assign a name to a face, just click on a picture where that person appears, press details, people and add name at the top. Hide stock apps Apple finally lets you get rid of those useless apps cluttering your home screen in iOS 10. Delete as you would any other app, press and hold on the app icon until it begins to shake and hit the X to remove. This won't get rid of the app for good, but at least it will remain hidden until you re-download in the app store. 3D Touch Control Center Apple doesn't let you customize your control center yet, but at least you will have more shortcuts to choose from on this screen. If you have an iPhone SIXS or SIXS Plus you can 3D touch the icons at the bottom to pull up a new list of options without leaving the page, or slide left to access the music remote. Voicemail transcription next time you get a missed call from an unknown number, don't bother listening to the voicemail. iOS 10 gives you a full transcription of the message directly from your voicemail tab in the phone app. Click on the name or number in this screen to open the transcription and share it as an email or text from the share icon at the top. The transcription is not perfect and it's only available in English at the time this article was written. Bilingual keyboard if you type in more than one language, chances are this feature will save you from an autocorrect nightmare. Once you've installed the keyboard languages you want in the settings, the messages app will automatically detect which one you are typing to save you from having to switch manually from the globe icon. Live links in messages another practical feature in the messages app that lets you preview a link without leaving the chat window. Paste the URL in the chat bubble and send. The app automatically renders a thumbnail preview with the title, or the full video player if it's a YouTube link. Use Siri with third-party apps voice control has become much more useful in iOS 10 now that Siri can control more than just Apple's own apps. Some of the third-party apps with Siri integration at launch include Square Cash, WhatsApp, Pinterest and LinkedIn. Lyrics If you're a sucker for sing-alongs, Apple Music now lets you belt out your favorite Adele song right from the app. Start playing the song. Click on the song bar at the bottom to maximize and scroll down until you see the lyrics. Not all songs have this option at the time we wrote this article. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. For more details on all the new features in iOS 10 check out this article.